Hi everyone, this is my Wednesday night Facebook Live and I'm running a bit late, sorry about that. I think it's just the time of year. So let me find you over on my, um, over here on my laptop. There we go, we don't want that. There we go, that's better. So I hope everyone's having a or had a great day. I'm still not used to doing um, lives at night. Um, so I hope you've all had a great day. The weather seems to have turned and it's coming into more summer-like weather, which is a great thing. Just looking at my um, blue dots that are in the way of the camera. <laughs> I have um, a really strange setup here because <clears throat> I haven't mastered my OBS yet, my online broadcasting system. Um, I have my phone on the windowsill, sitting on blue tack. <laughs> this is how tech, techno I am. And then I take it and switch it around and put it up into my phone holder. So anything that's just in front of my windowsill gets in the view. <laughs> so, so that's my techno, my techno um, setup. <laughs> so um, we're going to make a really simple Christmas card. <clears throat> This is um, using Peaceful Deer, which is in the annual catalogue. Um, really, really simple. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Um, so really simple. Now, I can't say I came up with this, this um, card. I did see it on YouTube. Um, Lisa Freeman in America made one in Starry Sky. And she used um, a different stamp set. <coughs> It was another stamp set that had a deer in it. Um, I can't, just for the life of me, I can't think of it. Um, but I thought, oh, that might work with Peaceful Deer. So that's why I've gone, gone ahead and done it. So I don't know if you can see it that well. But anyway, I will put it, put the phone up into the holder and we will get started. I'm going to do it in Night of Navy tonight. So we'll see how that works out. So just bear with me. There we go. Now I try really hard not to drop you and I just remembered I haven't put do not disturb on my phone. Okay, I think, I think I'm back live. So let me just put it into the holder again. <clears throat> and I'll move my stand forward a little bit. See how that goes. Hi Anita, how are you tonight? <clears throat> I think that's pretty good considering I'm doing everything manual and flying by the seat of my pants. Okay, so this is the card we're going to make, recreate, but I'm going to try it in navy. I'm really hoping it works for me. <laughs> As I said, I saw it on YouTube with um, Lisa Freeman in America. Oh, first of all, look at my Christmas nails. Aren't they spectacular? <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> good weather has been warm where are you anita i don't know where you are we had a warmer day today here on the central coast so that was nice so yes look these are my christmas nails i'm a very boring nail person i only ever get french nails my actual real nails are just crap <laughs> they're so weak and they break and they're short and they're ugly so i always get french polish horse and victoria well, if you've had a really warm day, that's probably what we're going to get tomorrow. Um, so, but look, I've got little Rudolphs on my pointer fingers. Can you see my little, hang on, let me turn them around. <laughs> I'm so excited about my nails. It's such a first world problem, isn't it? Um, so I've got a little Rudolph on my pointer fingers and I've got some stars on my ring fingers. And I'll just, oh, hang on, I've got to move them down a bit. <laughs> and the other ones are sparkly so I was trying a, a new color out for my daughter's wedding in March and so I'm quite liking this sparkly sort of great burgundy color but yeah they're my Christmas nails let's get let's get back to normal let's get back to business <laughs> <coughs> yeah so I saw this on YouTube um, and Lisa Freeman in America did it and I thought she used um, 
it wasn't Peaceful Deer. It was one I don't have. And I can't remember the name of it. Um, but the deer was solid in her card. And I thought, oh, that's, that, that card might work with Peaceful Deer. So I did it in um, Rich Razzleberry and I was quite happy with the way it turned out. So I'm going to give it another go tonight with Na Night of Navy and see how we go. So very simple things that you need. You need just your A4, A5 card front and mine is Night of Navy tonight. <laughs> need the <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that has nails that need all the help they can get it's, it's a costly thing to maintain your nails <laughs> and it's just my little treat to myself my nails so I just just do it <laughs> um so you just need an A5 card card base this piece of basic white is 12.6 by 9 centimetres. So it's a funny sort of size, but it gives you a good border of the colour behind. And then I've used the layering circle dies. Now this one I used this, this size, but tonight I cut out a bigger one because it still fits and I thought, well, let's just go bigger. So we're going bigger. So, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of our card base for the sake of not messing up. And I'll put that there. I've got my Night of Navy here. So, I've got Peaceful Deer and Brightest Glow step sets. And we're going to do the Merry Christmas from the Brightest Glow. Now, this stamp set is carrying over and the dies, the label dies that match it. Is it also they're also carrying over. So I'm just going to ink that up in my Night of Navy and I'm going to just place it here and pray that I get it straight. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> yes, SU products. Yes, they're always a treat, aren't they? I have got all my pre-order here and I haven't really done a lot with it yet. But um, tomorrow's my last day at work, so I'm looking very much looking forward to that. And then I'm done. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that to one side now and I'm going to get my circle and a scrap of paper in. Well, that's a fresh scrap. This was a, an old calendar from, I don't know, I don't know what year it was. It wasn't last year, I think it was the year before. <laughs> so, so, moving my card like this and we're going to get our little deers out. The bonus of the photopolymer is that you can see through them. So, that always helps, I think. So... I'm going to get my little deer. I'm just going to stamp in here and make sure he stamps nicely. And because my little circle, my circle's a bit bigger, I'm going to pop him over here. That looks nice. <clears throat> I'll clean him off. So it's getting down to crunch time now for Christmas. Um, I think I'm almost, I think I'm pretty ready now. I, um, I just posted on my business page the birthday card kit that I was working on today for my friend that I'm giving that to for Christmas. So all presents are done now. <clears throat> I bought a couple of little things for my mother-in-law. My husband bought the rest of her present, so that was really good. So now I'm going to get the little three trees in the um, Peaceful Deer set. And I'm just going to see how they stamp. They stamp quite well. So I'm just going to do them solid like 
first stamp and then I'm going to ink them up again and stamp them off and I'm going to do them up here in the second generation of, and then over here again but not re-inking. <laughs> ah well, you don't need a Christmas tree. <laughs> You can just put some baubles on the pot plant. That works. <laughs> I um, I love Christmas decorations, so I put my tree up. I did that a while ago, and um, <clears throat> this is the first year without my dear mum. She passed away two months ago tomorrow, so it's feeling very strange this year. Um, she'd reached a fair age, so you know. It's, it's okay that she's passed away. It's, you know, it's, it was time for her. She was well and truly ready. <clears throat> so I've just put some little bit of the ground from this Peaceful Deer stamp set. And, um, yeah, so it's just, even though she was 90 and she was not in good health and she wouldn't have been able to come to our house or anything like that, it still feels very strange this year because now both mum and dad have gone. And yeah, it's feeling very weird, <laughs> I must say. So I'm using the star. So I'm using quite a lot. I've used this lying down deer, the bunny rabbit. I've used the triple trees. There's quite a few trees in this set. I imagine this one will go with, when this annual catalogue goes. And I've used this one a lot because <clears throat> it matches the punch. I've used it quite a lot. So I've used the triple trees and I'm just about to use the snowflake and stars. I guess that's what they are. So I am just testing them out on my um my little um scrap card stock here. Hi Lynn. I got the most beautiful Christmas card from you today, Lynn. I was just so chuffed with it. It was just beautiful. I kept saying to Mark, my hubby, I said, Oh my goodness, I don't even I haven't even met this lady. <laughs> it was just lovely. Thank you. I don't even know how you found my address. Maybe it's on my blog, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know where my address comes from. Like what I've got out there in the in the social media world. Who knows? <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to get my blue brush in. Now, this is where I'm just a bit anxious. I'm just going to turn that over and press. Hey, Lynn, do you like my Christmas nails? <laughs> That's a bit fun, isn't it? I've got Rudolph on my pointer fingers, and I've got just some stars and swirls on my ring fingers. <laughs> bit of fun. I thought, let's just have fun. Okay, so I'm getting my blending brush and I've just inked it up with some Night of Navy and I'm just very carefully going to go round the edge of my little circle. <clears throat> and just, just to give it some shading and I'm going to leave in the middle My daughter's mother-in-law is named Denise McCabe. Ah, well, she has a good name, but she spells McCabe differently to me. Mine's M-A-C-C-A-B-E. But what a cool name she has. <laughs> That's awesome. So they say that you've got a double everywhere, somewhere in the world, and she, she could be my double. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to leave like the shading so that there's a little bit of light in the center. I could go a bit darker, but I'm just a bit hesitant with um. Oh, <laughs> what was far from perfect? Your card, it was beautiful. Michelle is in my stamp club, so she gave me the address. Ah, oh, Michelle, Michelle Johnston? No, Michelle who? <laughs> You've got me intrigued now. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm just going a little bit darker. Oh, well, that's that's where you got my dress from. I said to, I said to my hubby, ah, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I said I don't know how she's got my dress. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Maybe it's out there, and I don't even know. I've got it on social media. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to put that up on dimensionals. So let me grab some dimensionals. Oops. Yeah, I, I treated myself to my nails today. <laughs> I normally just get French. I was, I was saying that earlier. And I thought, you know what, let's just do something fun because <laughs> it's just a bit fun now I'm trying to find I've run out of that sparkly ribbon I've just remembered it's on my next wish list oh my goodness okay if in doubt no that's cream I can't do that oh dear it's a disaster <laughs> I'll have to use this. I remembered I'd run out of that sparkly ribbon. This ribbon is just so, you know what? I'm using a retired one. <clears throat> I'm using a satin silver edge ribbon that's retired. I'll tell you why. I don't know if you can see the difference between these two ribbons. This one's satin with a silver edge and this one's like a cotton. And I don't know if you can see the difference. I want to try and get them in camera. I don't have any Knight of Navy ribbon. That would be a good option. But um, I've got this blue that's from the... No, I don't think that would work. No. Um, oh, my mum, I've only got Starry Sky and that's really skinny. I know, I, could, I know, I think that's retired too. Oh, disaster. <laughs> Let me have a look what's current. <laughs> when you choose a ribbon and then it's retired. Okay, so this is the white glittered organdy ribbon that I'm talking about. Um... That I, I just used the last of it up on this card um, <clears throat> and this is the silver metallic edge cotton ribbon this one and it's just really not very nice <laughs> well I really like satin let's just be honest and let's just go <laughs> like satin's just so soft and silky and the um the rib the cotton it just doesn't do it for me. I've hardly used it. Maybe I'll use it after Christmas. I think I'll go with this retired one. I do have some of the black organdy, oh, or the organdy organza ribbon, but that's also retired. So I could use that as an option. All right, who wants? I'll ask you ladies. Satin? Joan. Joan says satin. Or what about the black organdy organza ribbon? <coughs> it is retired. Both are retired ribbons. So we could go with one or the other. I don't mind either. Joan said satin. Let's do satin. <coughs> now, has anybody done this before? I did this on all my daughter's wedding invitations. I don't smoke, never smoked, <laughs> but I have a I have a cigarette lighter for this to singe the ends of ribbon so that um they don't fray. Has anybody else ever done that? <laughs> and I have come unstuck a couple of times <laughs> when I've you know cindered the whole ribbon, but um, pretty much it's. A good thing just depends on your ribbon so you gotta hi Lorraine hi Joan everyone's saying satin yes we're going with satin um, 
yeah, so I, I did that life of technique on all my daughter's wedding invitations. <laughs> and I kept thinking, I hope I don't burn the wedding invitation. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to do. And <clears throat> I'm just going to, so I've got a bigger circle die this time because I thought I could go bigger. And I've gone bigger. <laughs> so I shall make a bow out of my satin ribbon and then I shall burn the ends. I never know if there's a right or wrong side. I don't think there is. Some ribbons are really obvious and some aren't. So last day at work tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> so excited. My work colleague got back from her cruise yesterday and she doesn't have COVID, so that's good. So she was at work today. And then I've got two weeks off. Yay. Yeah, I think satin was a good choice, ladies. Okay, so now I'm going to get my cigarette lighter and just scorch the end again, just so it doesn't fray. If you've got ribbon that you want it to fray well that's okay but sometimes you don't maybe I'll now see I need to tweak my bow oh that's a bit better that's a bit better I need to cut this a bit down further my daughter used to have a cigarette lighter too because when she used to sew her ribbons on her ballet shoes on her point shoes she used to she got the idea from me. She'd scorch the ends of the ribbons so that it wouldn't, um, they wouldn't fray. But none of us smoke. Never smoked. <laughs> Being asthmatic people, smoking was never an option. Okay, so I'm going to put my little ribbon on top of my, my bow on top of my bauble. How easy is this card? When um, I saw Lisa Freeman make it in America, I thought, that is too simple. I can't remember which stamp set she used. Not nature's print. Let me have another look. It had that really good dye. Was it nature's harvest? It's page 68. I'm just trying to give you options if you ha if you have this other stamp set. No, that's not it. I don't know what it is that she used. Um, I'll have to think about that. Okay, so now I'm going to get my glue and just put it on the back here. And just put it on our card like so now I have this concoction does anybody remember having the champagne shimmer mist we used to have this a few years ago and um, <laughs> thank you ladies um yeah we used to have this a few years ago there was the champagne mist there was the frost white i still got use this idea with other, yes you could use this idea with other stamp sets um i haven't got much of this left and stamping up doesn't sell it anymore but i did have a look and scrap scrapbook no what's it called let me look. I've got it in my emails. I um, get craft online emails and Scrap Dragon. Scrap Dragon have this. I think they're out of stock of the champagne one at the moment. But Scrap Dragon, I believe, is an Australian website. And they have these, whatever you call them, I can't even pronounce it. T-S-U-K-I-N-E-K-O. To I'm not going to try and say that. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And I've put it in a little bottle. These were glass glass cleaners, spray bottles. 
I put it, you could use, um, let me find it. For years I used to put it in, yes, I got the idea from Lisa Freeman too. Um, for years I used to put it in my little mister, mini mister. I don't know if this is one that's stamping up cells or if this is one I, this could be foreign muck. <laughs> um, but I emptied some glass cleaner and I put it in with some of the icicle um, rubbing alcohol and I'm going to spray my cards and it will have a shimmer. And I'm going to keep buying this. I've still got stamping up one left over. Now, I don't know if you can see the shimmer. Um, it's a bit hard to see on camera as far as I can understand. Yeah, you can't see it. But trust me. It looks stunning. <laughs> um, so I've shimmered my, both my cards. I think I like the navy one better. Woohoo! <laughs> you just don't want to spray too much in case your ink runs. That's why I held it away and was a bit careful with it. So how cool is this? I'm really struggling to work out what stamp set she used. Um, it's... I thought I had it and then I realized I didn't have it <laughs> so that was really helpful wasn't it um, it's the one that's got this die and actually maybe if I look at the dies the dies might help me it's got this really cool die that you can do diorama type cards with and now I'm just lying Maybe the dyes were retired. Um, how funny is that? I'll just flick through. Bear with me, ladies. <laughs> you could make a series of them in different color colors. So here's the good old Peaceful Deer stamp set. Page 42 in the annual catalogue. Stamp set's $39 and the punch is separate. The Builder Punch. I've got a feeling it's going to retire at the end of this annual catalogue. Uh, no, actually, when I think about it, I'm thinking the dies retired from the, um, the stamp set she used. She wouldn't use something that's not current. There it is. Grassy Grove. That's the one she used to make her card. <clears throat> and I just thought, how cool. She made like five cards in a 40-minute video. Um, but she used this deer. Um, she used the grass and she turned it upside down, I think, to give it um, some grass. She used these trees. But I think the Peaceful Deer set, stamp set worked just as well. So she used the grass. Oh, no, look, the dyes are still there. Page 163. Why didn't I see them? Oh, they're not a bundle. That's why I didn't see them. Oh, they are a bundle. Just ignore everything I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that one that I see lots of people use for, um, you know, 3D cards. So I haven't got that set. So I thought, okay, Peaceful Deer might work. And I think it worked okay. You've got Grassy Grove. I'll have to make some for next year. Yeah, it'd be late now, isn't it? <laughs> We've sort of come to the crunch time. Um, yeah, so Grassy Grove would work. So, um, But as I said, I don't have Grassy Grove. So I thought Peaceful Deer might work. And then I realised my deers weren't coloured and, and this flying deer wasn't going to work. And I thought, okay, let's just work with it. And this is what I came up with. I like the bigger circle. I think that looks better. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that fun little card tonight and my fun little fingernails. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you really want to do champagne shimmer mist spray, Scrap Dragon has this. <clears throat> and you just mix it with the icicle rubbing alcohol and you get like a champagne shimmer mist and you spray it all over your stuff. And you just shimmer. <laughs>
<laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that, ladies. Have a great rest of the evening. And I really hope that um, the last couple of days before Christmas are not too stressful and not too frantic for people. Um, as I said, I'm done now. Christmas shopping is done. Everything is... Oh, no. I've got to wrap what I bought my mother-in-law. That's right today. Um, but And I'll just make my daughter's... Um, shortbread that she likes i've made my son his christmas cake so he's 28 nearly 29 and he's eaten christmas fruit cake since he was like six which is real oh i'm gonna put bling on oh my lord um he's eaten christmas cake since he was such a young boy and i messaged him the other night and i said do you want me to make you a christmas cake and he came back with mum that's a stupid question I thought, well, there you have it. I've been told. <laughs> um, and my daughter said, could you make those beautiful pistachio, cra uh, cranberry and white chocolate shortbread? I said, sure. So I was going to do that today, but I ran out of time. So I'll do that Friday. So let me just put some bling on our card. I'm just using the normal basic rhinestones. And if I could find my... I'll just go to this one. I'll have to turn it around. Yes, Merry Christmas, Anita. Merry Christmas, Joan. Have a lovely Christmas. I'll be live on Friday afternoon. That will be my last Facebook Live before Chrissy. And then... Um, I always struggle. <laughs> you, know, you know, girls, how I struggle with the last rhinestone. There we go. Um... And then I will have Monday off, so I won't do a makeup Monday. Um, I'll go and do that this week. So there we go. So I've just got to make shortbread for Olivia. That's all I've got to do. So Friday, that's Friday's job. So have a great, great night, rest of the evening, and I'll see you on Friday if you're not too busy. At Friday afternoon, two o'clock for card and a cuppa. Thanks, ladies, for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye for now.